So we're nearly into July and we've had some pretty awful weather in the UK, well certainly in the north. Um, probably about four to six weeks of pretty much cloudy nights with the odd hour here and there. So not much imaging time, but I did manage to get uh, an hour and a half in, which I'll come on to in a second. But I sat down and thought, what should I do? Should I reprocess some of my images from previous years using PixInsight? Using some new techniques I've learned? No. Should I upgrade all the software on my laptops and Nooks to the latest versions? No. Maybe I should have a look at cleaning some of my gear. Doing some de-dusting. No. No. I bought a new telescope and a new mount. So here it is. Yep, yeah, it's a Celestron Edge HD 8-inch SCT telescope. So I thought, what better telescope to buy at the end of galaxy season than a large SCT? Probably not this one. But in all seriousness, I intend to use this later on in the summer, autumn and winter for standard, or standard, normal nebulae type imaging. I also intend to try to do a bit of planetary imaging, which is going to be new to me. And uh, of course, everybody likes shooting the moon every now and again. Um, so hopefully I'm going to stick, point it at the moon at some nights when it's a full moon. Uh, I've got my ZWO071MC hooked up to it. Um, probably going to have to change that out for a more suitable planetary camera later on in the year if that's where I want to start looking at things like Jupiter and Saturn and Venus. Um, so yeah, really pleased with what I've done with it so far. Um, I've managed to get one hour 30 in the last six weeks of time with it. And this is the image that I managed to capture. So I was quite happy with that, to be honest. That is literally one hour 30, and I did have to throw away quite a few exposures, because um, if you're an SET owner, you'll know that the challenges of guiding at 2032 native focal length um, is quite daunting and not without its issues, with especially probably an unmatched guide scope of only 240 millimeters. So I need to look into that a little bit further. I don't know if I'm just a little bit shy of where I should be. Um, and of course then there's collimation. So uh, my good friend Luke over at the YouTube channel, Luca Matico, link in the description, gave me some great tips on collimating. And on that first night that I spent imaging with this, I probably spent over an hour fiddling around with collimation. I was literally chasing my tail around with the discs, trying to get them into the right position. Um, I have bought some things called bobs knobs, which replace the screws at the front of the correct plate. Uh, I've not put those on yet, but probably the next time I get this out and look to do check the collimation, I will probably fit them, I think. So yeah, um, on to what I had to buy next, what I had to buy. I suppose I didn't have to buy it, but my idea is I want to be able to dual run during the rest of the year and next year and the year after. So I want to run my Esprit 100 on my CGX, which is my primary mount, and run this Edge HD on this mount, which is the Skywatcher AZ EQ6. So this is the slightly bigger brother of the very popular Skywatcher EQ6R mount. The primary differences are it can run in an alt-as mode, which I don't use. The reason I bought this one was um, I've, I've had one before, so I'm more than familiar with it. I really like the altitude adjustment. It uses this gearing mechanism rather than the traditional sort of push-pull. And it's just a little bit more beefy amount. The clutches, as you can see here, this is the right, uh, the declination clutch. Um, so gone are those very small twisting knob affairs. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I suppose the, the other final reason is you can't find any Q6R Pro in stock for love no money in the UK. And First Light, Op First Light Optics showed us having seven of these in stock the other day. So I thought, whilst the, uh, the iron's hot, I will pounce and buy one. I've also put bloody flies. I've also put an uh, Intel Nook and a uh, Pegasus Pocket Astro Powerbox on here. So I'm all ready to rock, just need the clouds to go away. 
So yeah, really looking forward to see what results I can get out of this. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I've managed to get a uh, one hour 13 at the moment. So very, very early days. Um, one thing actually I do want to replace is this saddle. So out of the EQ6 and the AZ EQ6 range of Skywatch amounts, I think one of the weakest points, and I don't mean weak by uh, mechanically weak, but the saddle is just a little bit too shallow for my liking and ADM do a really nice replacement one um, unfortunately not in stock at the moment so I um, will be swapping this out with an ADM at some point in the future hopefully but yeah I just thought I'd show you some new gear um, getting new gears always puts a smile on your face and obviously empties your bank balance so as ever thank you for watching uh, if you want to drop a like or a subscribe I will be eternally grateful until next time clear skies Catch you later.